quote from one of my favorite books, which goes something like this. That a uh, story is like a moving train, and it does not matter where you hop on board this train, sooner or later you will reach your destination. So today in my speech, I will take you to three different stops on the moving train, which is my life story, and I hope it will be keep moving for a long time. And uh, But before I get into that, let me just get over with some basics. So, so this is my first speech. Uh, my name is Dan, I come from Pakistan, and I moved to Rockhoff uh, a few years ago uh, because of my work. I'm working in Nokia as a product manager. Uh, I like traveling, I like reading books, and the rest I hope you will discover while I spend my time in this stuff. So without further ado, let me take you to the first stop, which is called Nomad. So most of you must have heard this question, where are you from? And if you are outside your country, you usually say that I'm from that country. If you are in your home country, then you say I'm from that hometown. Uh, but for me, whenever someone asks me this question, it's a hard question, okay? It's easier in Poland because I can say I'm from Pakistan. But it's a bit difficult when they ask me where in Pakistan because I'm 27 years old and I have never lived in one place for more than five years. Uh, if you know anything about Pakistan, you would know that it's a very diverse and huge country. So even if you move like a few hundred kilometers in any one direction, you find yourself in a completely different culture, tradition, customs, language, food, everything is different. It's not like, uh, it's similar to how you would feel like if you would move any one country to another in Europe. So it wasn't always an uh, easy thing to do. Uh, it was not always an easy experience. But uh, what made it work was the friendships. The friendships that I made in those places. Uh, because. From my experience, I can say this now that it does not matter uh, even if the place that you are in it feels like uh, hell. If you have good friends, it will feel like you, to you like uh, heaven. And even if you if you don't have good friends, even a heaven-like place can feel like hell. You will feel lonely. So that's the uh, one thing that kept me moving all these uh, different uh, places. So that was the stop number one, Nomad. Let's go to the stop number two, which is curiosity. So I'm a very curious guy, uh, if you have ever heard this proverb, curiosity killed the cat, so I think that was probably written from me, maybe I killed a couple of cats, don't tell the cat lovers. Uh, if I'm interested in something, uh, I'm going to try to know as much and as quickly as possible about this topic. It can be about a person, about uh, some historical topic, about the place I'm living in, uh, about some country or, or, or something like Toastmasters for example. Um, what it does is that it gives me a lot of useless trivia, you know, I have a lot of random information after spending hours on Wikipedia. So, for example, I can tell you that in the year 1900, there were only 70 sovereign nations or states in the whole world. And nowadays we have almost 193 uh, recognized states. See, completely useless information, you cannot do anything with it. <laughs> so, <laughs> that is the stop number two. Now let's go to stop number three, which is uh, life dream. So how many of you here have heard this question, uh, what is your life dream? Raise your hand. Okay. <laughs> okay. So I, I hear it from time to time, and you know, uh, my recently my answer has always been that I want to bring peace to the world. And I'm not joking, I'm serious. Because uh, I come from a country which hasn't been so peaceful for the past few years. And it's uh, in the world is also similar for past uh, let's say one or two years, and I am I have a belief that uh, actually I can contribute something towards it, and I don't want to be sitting on the sidelines and uh, just waiting for things to happen. But I'm not naive, and I know that uh, I do not have skills or experience to do anything about it, which I would like to do, uh, which I think are only two ways to do: uh, one being a politician, and other. Being not being a politician, but the person who actually devised the policy, the expert on geopolitics and international relations. So one of these two things in the future, I, I think I will go for. So that was the stop number three, life dream. Why I chose these three stops to tell you today? Because I, the reason that I am in this club in Toastmasters are somehow related to these things that I just told you. Because first of all, I would like to meet uh, in some interesting people and make friends with who share the same uh, passion and who want to learn the same skills. 
which should make uh, living in Rockstock even more awesome than it already is, and hopefully this will be the first city that I live in for more than five years. <laughs> uh, second, um, I need public speaking skills to put that useless trivia that I have in my head, but put it into some contextual uh, information and present it to other people so they can also take benefit out of it. And if, ever, if I am ever going to do anything about my life dream, I need leadership skills, which I think those must give a very nice opportunity to uh, learn. So I would like to uh, conclude by saying that I'm very happy to start this new chapter of my life, or should I say maybe a new stop in my life, and I hope that you will uh, also enjoy it, this my moving train of my life story, and hopefully it will be a wonderful one. Thank you.